गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन दिस इज वृशाली इन दिस सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट सम यूनिट वाइज इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स एंड क्वेश्चन बैंक ऑफ डेटा बेस मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम सो दिज आर द सम जनरल एंड मोस्ट फ्रिक्वेंटली आस्ड क्वेश्चन इन यूर लास्ट प्रीवियस एग्जाम दिस क्वेश्चन विल बी हेल्पफुल फॉर यूर नेक्स्ट एग्जामिनेशन फॉर रेफरेंस पर्पज लेट सी दिज आर द सम रेफरेंस बुक आई एम सजेस्टिंग यू you should refer this book for your study purpose the first one is korth database system concept and second one is navates fundamentals of database system everything have mentioned in this book with example and in most simplest language so you can use this book for your study purpose now the next first unit is introduction to dbms so from this unit the first question is advantages of dbms over file processing so at that time you have to mention any four to five advantages with example next is three level architecture of dbms so in this question you have to mention the complete diagram architecture diagram of dbms with explanation point wise next list out different data models and you need to explain any two data models with example with diagram next list the responsibilities of database administrator so at that time you have to just list the uh, responsibilities means you have to mention any 7 to 8 responsibilities of database administrator so for first four question generally asked for 4 to 6 marks next one is draw and list different components of database system so you have to mention different components point wise with example next you have to explain any following terms like data abstraction data independence so at that time you have to explain these terms with example and with diagram and last one is explain multi user dbms architecture so you have to draw the diagram of multi user dbms architecture and explain those diagram sequence wise or point wise so next 5 6 and 7 this question generally asked for 6 to 8 marks the next one is unit 2 that is relational model so from that unit different examples or different multiple questions will be asked uh, that is based on your relational model the first is discussion with example about various types of attributes present in er model so you have to list different types of attributes and their explanation with diagram the second one is in your exam there are different examples are given like see here in second question that is relation r that is a b c d e and there are different relations between this set like a b to c c d to e and you have to find out candidate key so this type of questions will be asked in your exam you need to find out candidate key or primary key or foreign key so basically you have to knowledge about this all the keys next is explain concept of view along with operations and the next one is you need to explain any codes norms of rdbms so this first four question generally asked for 4 to 6 mark now next one is you need to draw er diagram of hospital management system so this kind of question generally asked in your exam they will give some example like hospital management system or railway reservation system this kind of example and you need to draw the diagram according the example or according the problem statement so this question generally asked for 6 to 8 mark now the next is what is scheme schema and explain their types of attributes with example and last one is you need to explain some terms like referential integrity enterprise constraints or a strong entity set weak entity set so you have to explain these terms with example okay or with some related diagrams so this question generally asked for 6 to 8 marks now the next unit 3 that is introduction to sql and pl sql so this is one of the most important unit M most question generally asked from this third unit like uh, first one is explain insertion deletion and modification anomalies with example you need to explain those operations with example so i am suggesting you you can prepare one example like a student and teacher example so you can prepare those example and uh, mention insertion deletion modification these operations on that example now uh, discuss various sql data types then uh, what is trigger 
explain trigger with suitable example so you need to mention first definition of trigger then uh, what is trigger their types their example in this particular format now uh, in exam they will ask either explain join operations with example or they will ask about only inner join or only outer join so you need to prepare a join with their types with example the next question is describe drop table command of sql with both options so you need to prepare different commands with example like what is insert operation and insert example next uh, select query and their example then uh, alter update modify this kind of queries with example so you need to prepare all the commands with example for your exam purpose now explain different ddl and dml command with example so at that time you have to explain any three ddl command or any three dml command with example so this question generally asked for 6 to 8 mark next one is explain view operations then tuple variables then also uh, you have to explain different terms like what is dynamic sql then what is odbc so you have to explain those terms with example or with diagram and last one is most important question that is explain specialization generalization and aggregation with example so you have to mention the definition of these three terms with diagram okay and with example so this question generally asked for 8 to 9 marks so i am suggesting you you should prepare different examples of different queries there are different ddl dml queries in rdbms then aggregate function mathematical function operators nested queries so you need to prepare examples of all these queries that will be beneficial for you in your exam now the next unit 4 that is database design and query processing so from this uh, unit generally in exam will be asked about normalization and different forms of normalization so the most important question is question number 1 question number 4 this and question number 5 so 1 4 and 5 these are these three are the most important question from this unit the what is normalization or explain first normal form second normal form third normal form so from question number 1 and question number 2 they will ask any one question from this uh, two question next different measures of query cost and next they will ask either explain query optimization with respect to sql database or why query optimization important for database the answer is same from this two question so you have to prepare this question according to their uh, definition their examples with point wise explanation next explain bcnf with example so you have to mention what is bcnf their relations with example and last one is you have to explain different terms like what is data redundancy update anomalies then functional dependencies so you have to explain those terms with example okay so these are the just general this question generally asked on basis of unit 4 so basically you have to prepare normalization and their forms query optimization and uh, query cost so these three questions are most important on the basis of fourth unit now the next one is unit 5 so from your rdbms from your dbms subject unit 3 and unit 5 is most important unit most question generally asked from this two unit so from this fifth unit that is transaction and concurrency control the first explain two phase locking protocol and its advantages you have to explain this two phase locking protocol with example okay the second view and conflict serializable schedule with example so you have to explain what is view what is conflict serializable schedule and explain those terms with example the next question is question number 3 or question number 4 they will ask either 3 or 4 in your exam like what is transaction and acid properties so acid properties is a most important question in your exam okay so this question generally asked in uh, your examination so you have to prepare the acid properties with example next explain time stamp based on concurrency control then explain deadlock detection and prevention technique so you have to explain any 4 to 5 techniques with example next uh, either in exam they will ask question number 7 or question number 8 okay 
that is explain log based recovery techniques you have to explain different techniques with example so this question depend on marks if they will ask this question for 6 marks so you have to explain any different three techniques okay or uh, they will ask question for 8 marks so at that time you have to explain this log based recovery techniques any four techniques with example okay now the most important question is checkpoints sometimes uh, this question generally asked in your exam what is checkpoints then uh, different operations to be performed by the system when checkpoints is to be taken so they will give you some problem statement related to the checkpoints or uh, related to the deadlock condition <coughs> so you have to mention their answer what exactly happened after this condition then last one is what is serializable schedule and explain their types so question number 10 is most important question okay so I am suggesting you, you should prepare this point. Uh, the most important point is acid properties. Second, view and conflict serializable. Third, two phase locking protocol. And last, serializable schedule. This four is the most important points. Now, the last one is unit six, advanced databases. So uh, from this unit, there are uh, architecture and database architecture parallel database architecture these are the most important question okay the first question is draw and explain all parallel database architecture so at that time you have to draw the diagram of parallel database architecture and explain those diagrams sequence wise or point wise okay now the most important question is question number two they will ask short note on cloud database sqlite database mobile database or internet database means you have to explain any two or any three uh, terms with example now what is mobile database and their functionalities this is also an important question then uh, discuss data management issue in cloud database so this question generally asked for four to six marks and next explain distributed database design with architecture so you have to draw the diagram of distributed database and explain those diagram point wise next explain two tier and three tier architecture so sometimes in exam they will ask either two tire or three tire okay so you can prepare both uh, tire architecture the next is explain advantages of no sql over sql and explain curd operations in no sql this is also one of the most important question so the next one is explain xml data model their advantages and also the last question is you have to explain different terms in xml like what is documents what is elements nested attributes namespace and scheme schema so you have to explain those terms with example so from this six unit parallel database architecture two tier three tier architecture then this question number two question number two is most important okay and no sql database so you should prepare these four points uh, in detail way with diagram and with their explanation so hope so this will be helpful and these questions uh, will be helpful for your reference purpose. So all the best to everyone. Thank you.